Good morning. <laughs> Get that tongue back in your mouth. So, happy to report, Jamesy boy has two teeth now. Ah! Another one on the bottom. Dad is really sleepy <laughs> because we slept on the couch last night. Bummer, but Jamesy has a six month appointment this morning. So we gotta pull it together. did such a good job at the doctor. I mean, we still have to get a vaccine shot, but someone's right checking right along the way. So good. Two teeths? Yeah. Oh what was he weight-wise? 15-2. 15-2. with his head, and checked with his weight, and his height. Yes. Like 26 inches. Yeah. We come home and he's just, I set him down, he's just holding his hands, just like a sweet boy, like, why didn't you guys poke me? <laughs> also, he's a big, big kid because he's got a six month checkup. Everything looks great. And this is coming up today because his feet are sticking. And I'm moving this up to the last notch. You're a big kid now. Okay, so we picked up some stragglers. We're going to Maggie Daly Park finally. It's been open, what, like three weeks? Yeah, and we haven't been in a long time. And these kids have never been. Here are our stowaways. Hey. Hey. Alrighty, we've made it to Millennium Park, but we're gonna go just a little bit further east and go to Maggie Daly. We brought the kids all the way here and the play garden is closed. Oh, brother. What do you do when the park's closed? You make the best of it and just roll down hills in a grassy field. Whoa! Well, I got Sarah doing a cartwheel. Impressive. Look at how beautiful it is. Even though it's so beautiful, it is like 47 degrees. Bye, Luca. Surprise, surprise. This is the Chicago Athletic Association, where Phil came on the episode too, but we're coming to get Shake Shack. Look at this beautiful, historic architecture. We've been back there. They make it a, uh, that's Parsons. It's like a little dive bar, and we went there during the holidays with our friend Lauren and her dad. But we're here to get some burgers. So here we go. We got some drinks, some wine, avocado bacon, and some shakes. Rhubarb shake, custard shakes, chicken, burgers, lemonade, the shroom burger. Not completely vegan, vegan. Get, it's vegetarian. Yeah, we're gonna get the Look at these booths. I feel like this used to be something else. That's for me. It's for us to share. We got the mushroom burger. I think it's just a big deep fried mushroom. A hazzy dazzy. Yum. This is just a literal massive portobello mushroom deep fried. So yummy. Look at the cute jumpsuit on that boy. 
may or may not have just gone into Primark to get Luca pants because he's filled at dinner. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got to do? Oh, you growling at me? Oh, that tongue! Oh, that tongue! Look at! Oh, he wants the strap. Look at! Look at you on the screen. <laughs> that strap looks that fun. Okay, you can hold it. So we made it home safe. What a herky jerky night, huh? All around town. We had a lot of fun just playing in the grass. That was probably the highlight. Dinner was really good. I really liked that portobello <laughs> burger. It was really yummy. Um, and now we're home. <laughs> who knew? A, who knew a camera strap could bring so much joy? Also. Got a lot of laundry to fold. Okay, baby is in his crib. We're gonna try this out tonight. We had a exciting adventure downtown, mm -hmm. and we're also being productive. That's a good night. Hey. I switched my rest day this week because my Achilles is acting up, which reminds me I need to roll. But. I'm trying to fix my watch at the same time. Yeah, I already showed our baby. Sleeping in a crib like a big kid? Yeah. He's so old already. Yeah. I guess that happens though, that's what they say. That is what they say. Sometimes Wednesdays got you like this though. So, I think I, I don't think, I know. Somehow my Garmin watch charger got busted like the spring. So I tried using one of Sarah's hair ties to pressure it because it's just like a contact charge but I don't think it's charging and that's very upsetting because I've now gone on two runs without my watch because I also don't know where my Apple watch charger is and I know that sounds terrible because I'm talking about two very expensive pieces of equipment I just don't I haven't used my Apple watch in months so I don't know where the charger is so I've just been using my phone on my runs um, but I love my Garmin and so just in case this doesn't work, I'm gonna Google and see how I can get a replacement charger. This is what I meant to show. Sometimes Wednesdays just got you like this. Right, Eve? Right? She's like, don't touch me. Sometimes you just wanna relax and not get smacked around and petted, huh? Or do you? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright, Cubby's game is going crazy. Kinda. Really? Well, last night we left in the fourth inning and they won we in the ninth. And it was like, it was like a nice win for them. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them about the heated up water in um, So we're taking a book out of the Earhart's vacation books where they would bring a thermos of hot water to make bottles for their children. And what I did is I my brother and sister-in-law are at the Cubs game. They parked in our neighborhood, so they're going to come by and see us. And my brother works really early, so he's been up since 4 a.m. It's 11. So I heated up. Unfortunately, I don't have fresh coffee grounds. I'm out. I ran out this morning, so I still had four cups of coffee in the pot from this morning. I heated that up, which I think is the most vile thing ever, but I'm going to offer that to him. And I'm also steeping a cup of tea, tea and biscuit tea. Um, but I took the left, the, whatever's left in the kettle, and I put it the hot water in this really awesome um, thermos by Clean Canteen and hopefully this does the same thing as the thermos so that if James wakes up in the middle of the night I can just toss that in a bottle with four with the four ounces of that with formula in a bottle and go Johnny on the spot rather than like delayed heating up um, a bottle for him because the big guy is in his crib and we're going to try to keep it that way where if he wakes up I'll make a quick bottle and then go in there and rock him on the chair because he's such a big kid now and then put him back in his crib and we have like the outlet and we have um, our night vision thing what is that called? the camera that thing on him and everything so he's, he's huge now Today is May 4th, May 5th, and I heard today being referenced to something I've never heard before is the Revenge of the Fifth. Today's message is by Yogi Baha. Travel light, live light, spread the light, be the light. Oh, I love it. 
So as two uh, anxious slash nervous parents leaving their child in a room down the hall for the first time ever in their life, mm -hmm. we're eating chips in our bed, getting ready for <laughs> to potentially sleep if, if we can. I just, I just want to hear him. Yeah, we will. I'm gonna have a high volume. Yeah, got the outlet on. Yeah. That goes crazy. Yeah. If, if anything. And every time he's like moved, it's gone off because he's far enough away from it where I think it's losing connection. Mm hmm. Um, anyway. Night one. But it's not like. We're gonna snuggle him. Yeah, but like. <laughs> I think we unexpectedly may have put the bassinet to rest, rest tonight. Cause like if he wakes up, I'm gonna make a bottle and go into his room mm -hmm. and use the rocking chair as he stirs. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.